Hi, I'm Dr. Nathan Ritter from CardioGage.com. I'm a cardiologist in New York. This video is about carotid intimal medial thickness testing. This is a relatively uncommon test. It's fallen out of favor over the past few years because it doesn't predict very well uh, a person's risk for stroke or heart attack, but it could still conceivably occasionally be useful. People are still getting this test done as a screening test with uh, services like Lifeline where uh, there'll be a uh, mobile unit and you go into the truck and then they do all kinds of ultrasounds on you and EKGs and whatnot. Um, so uh, occasionally I come across uh, somebody who's had this test. Uh, so what is it? It's a measure of how thick the uh, intimal portion of the artery is. Here's a picture showing a carotid artery and in this area this is the thickness of the inner part of the wall of the artery and the thicker this is the more cholesterol buildup there is in the um, in the vessel, so the thicker it is, the worse it is. Here's an example of a carotid ultrasound that shows really bad atherosclerosis, plaque, cholesterol buildup, calcium all through the inside of the artery. This is not good and generally should be treated with cholesterol medication like a statin, a torvastatin, for example, and definitely lifestyle adjustments to decrease chance of stroke. The test result is most useful would be if it were really quite substantially abnormal. So if you had a wildly abnormal carotid intimal medial thickness test, then that would motivate you to eat better, exercise, and take a torvastatin. Statin. Bottom line, this is a test that I don't order. I rarely see people who've had this uh, test done. I don't find it particularly useful. I think the coronary calcium scoring test is a lot more useful, and um, I would be much more apt to use that to um, assess my patients for their risk for having a heart attack, that type of thing. Please hit like and subscribe. It helps to get the feedback. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll, I'll try to answer them or make a video about it, um, a topic that you're interested in.